What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Goes Back at it again. Much love and one love to the homeboys. Yo, got another video, man. So, it's about that time, man, for my 5.4 Triton to finally get a new IAC valve. Um, I, I took it out already, but I will show you how, where it's located and what tools you'll need and everything. I didn't want to... It's a very tight space when I show you. I will show you, and there's no way you're gonna possibly see this unless I fully zoom in and then one holding camera, and you know. So I'll show you where it's located. Um, needed to be replaced immediately. Um, here's the original gasket. Literally, these pieces were just gone. Um, it it didn't fail. It didn't fail on me, but I'm gonna tell you right now. It. It, it was having issues like it like it was about to fail so I had to take it out so next thing um where is it uh, so when you're taking these bolts right here there are two the other ones on the head already it's literally just being held in there um, I didn't want to lose it so I'm taking one for demonstration so when you're taking this off your 4.6 Triton or 5.4 Triton you want to either use a 5 16 you know ratchet I find this to be very useful it works well um, or if you want if you got a flex head uh, if you got a ratchet like this maybe extension with a flex head on it I would use this uh, 8 millimeter it works so mainly we got the we got you know, always make sure when you get your parts that they are identical. Match them up. Make sure they are identical. Um, I've seen people, you know, even AutoZone or Riley's, they made mistakes. Maybe it's not their fault, but it's company's fault. So just make sure they match up. You know, let's see. Pin for pin right here. So that looks good. Um, you know, two holes, two bolts, same pattern. Everything looks pretty different, pretty pretty much the same. So let's get on to the car. Yeah, let's get now this we're in the truck. Sitting up in here because I'm short. Let's get back here. So let's see if I can give you guys a better view. All right. So she is literally located all the way back here. Right here with this little housing right here. See the connector? So she's really back here. And then this hose is usually in the way for the bottom bolt. Sorry, it's not it's not the perfect, you know, you can really can't uh, you can't really see it. But it is literally this is it right here. That's where it meets up. And there's its connector right there. So you're going to have two bolts. I don't know if you can get a socket in there. Oh man. Flash went off. But yeah, there's two bolts down there. Um, you might you might want to use a ratchet, like a ratcheting wrench, maybe not a socket. But if you got a flathead, it'll work. Um, another thing is, where is it? For that connector, I used the long flathead. Push down on it and just slide it right out. This will help you. This will help you a lot. Um, so it should be an easy job. It's just very time consuming because you got a limited amount of space back there. I just wanted to, you know, show you. Um, so I'm going to put the proceed to put the part back on, give you another overview. So give me a so second. We're back on. She's fully screwed in, plugged up, fully ready to go. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, people. All right, let me just get, sorry about the shakiness. Let's just uh, turn this baby off. Mr. Halogen, Halogen, my bad, did I say Halogen? I mean Halogen from Harbor Freight, we did a review on that. She's been on here. Um, got the flathead screwdriver, don't forget, for the freaking, um, for the connector. This will work. Oh, another tip, leave the two screws in there and then use this. Don't take the screws off that IEC. Don't take it off just yet. If you're going to do it, 
and you're working on one of these 4.6s or 5. Point, you know, 4 Tritons, push push the connector off first. I made that mistake. Sorry. But yeah, I made that mistake. I don't want nobody else making that mistake. It's wiggling all over the place. So push down on it first, slide it off. Use the same method. Put your belly here. Um, one arm on this way, another arm this way, so you can get a good grip on it, and you'll be good to go. So, all right, let me, you know, because I'm like five foot eleven, and I'm like literally, like literally, like in here. So, let me just get down. <sighs> Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Put my tools down. Put this down. Get the halogen on there. We don't want it shaking, you know, falling the engine. All right. Oh, almost forgot some. Almost forgot some, boys. Almost forgot some. Oh, let's get this magnet. Magnet. This thing comes in so much handy. So much handy, like so handy because I've dropped a few tools down there. I ain't gonna lie. I dropped a screw down there. I had to come and get it back. All right. Let's put that baby there. All right. Where the keys at? Where the keys at? Where the keys at? There's the old girl. Remote starter. Let's get it. Let's see. Make sure also. Yes, I did take off the uh, power. You could take off the battery power if you want. Um, my bad. Let me zoom in for you. You could take the. Oh, I also yeah. I installed new um, new uh, battery terminals. Should have did a video on that. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, if you want to disconnect your battery just for any type of fuses that you do work on or um, electrical connectors, it is recommended. Um, I just took off the negative. I know you're supposed to take off the positive. I did the negative. So you do what you want. Let's see if she starts up. Make sure everything's good. Everything's clear. Tools are not going to be, you know, anywhere where they fall in. Make sure. Let's see how she is. All right. All right. Moment of truth, boys. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, man. All right. All right. Let's check it out. I locked myself out. God damn it. <laughs> All right. So, we got... All right, let me fix the camera for you guys. All right. So, let me fix this. There you go. So, we got a check. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about that. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. Well, okay. There's no check engine light anymore. It's just check suspension and low washer fluid. No big deal. No big deal, boys. No big deal. All right. Zoom out. Oh, man. Oh, all right. But it seems like you fixed it. Seems to be working great. All right, all right. So, that's all. Seems to be running good. Let's give it a rev for the boys. Let's give it a nice little rev. Get some light in here. much for that. The light doesn't want to cooperate. Let's give it a little rub. Not bad, huh? So that's how you replace your IEC valve. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. It's your man Ghost. Don't forget, um, always have your tools or a magnet strip so you don't lose you know what I mean like your um, that bottom one on the IC valve you might drop it you might drop it because it is very hard to get a hang of it in that tight space word of advice grab it with your grab it with your left hand and just keep a magnet like this really close to you and literally just take it out of your hand and you'll be good to go it's your man Ghost please like and subscribe VCG what's up Thanks for watching. Um, next video will be better. I'm sorry I did it in the dark. But 
it needed to be done. I needed to make a video. So thanks for watching. Mad love. Hoping you, hoping you guys. <clears throat> sorry. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm out. Mad love.